Well, we knew it was coming, and today it really felt hot. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow is going to feel super hot. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. This is where we're headed. Let's take a look. This shows the past few days. Today's right in the middle, and the next few days, and you'll see the past few days under that average. The average from one end of this chart to the other. 99 degrees for high temperature average here in Fresno. So over the last couple days, we were able to dip down to 95 yesterday, 98 today, but then it's into the triple digits this week, and we keep getting warmer. By the end of the week, 106s, 107s to come. Forecast highs are really pushing hot, but not quite to records. As you can see, these records are in the one teens, some of the warmest throughout the entire year. Highs today, 98 in Fresno. Doesn't look so bad now, does it? Merced at 97, 97 today in Visalia. It was 84 up in Shaver, warming to 92 in Yosemite Valley. Nine mile per hour wind in Fresno out of the northwest. We've got 84 degrees here right now. It is 80 in Madera. Satellite and radar showing a little bit of cloud cover that's moved up through uh, California's coast and the coastal range mountains. It brought some clouds through the second half of the day, closer to around sunset that passed over the area. Also, some showers and thunderstorms, small ones to our north through the Reno and Lake Tahoe area. And future cast is bringing the possibility of more of this monsoon moisture. This is what happens when we start to get some of these showers and thunderstorms that come from the east. Throughout much of the year, we get our weather from the west, and this is why we call it monsoon. It's that seasonal shift in direction. And as we go through the next few days, it's possible, I'm thinking Tuesday, Wednesday, and especially Thursday, to see some of these showers possibly cross above the crest of the Sierra and end up in some of the uh, foothill areas that we have, even in the valley. It's not probable, but it is possible over the next few days. So it's something we're keeping a close eye on as we go through the middle of the week this week, especially on Thursday, I think. Uh, otherwise, we are still looking at deteriorating air quality, moderate air quality right now up and down the valley. The San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District is forecasting unhealthy air for sensitive groups through Fresno County tomorrow as well as in the mountain portion of Tulare County. Our valley camps are powered by Boz Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus, and you can see the haze in the air as we take a look at this time lapse up at uh, uh, Meadow Lakes. It's a camera that faces uh, Toll House and also to the southwest enough so you can see sunset. There were those clouds with that disturbance that came up the coast. Temperatures tonight will be warmer than last night. This leaves us in the 70s here in Fresno rather than the 60s, and that is warmer than we have been, and it is going to get even warmer at night through the days to come. Tomorrow, 104 degrees for Fresno, 103 for Hanford, 103 for Porterville, 105 for Mendota. Even in the triple digits in Los Banos, 100 degrees for you, 98 in Oakhurst, 89 degrees in Yosemite Valley. Your extended forecast looks like this. Temperatures keep getting warmer. Those overnight lows well into the 70s. We are looking well into the triple digits with 104, 104, 105, 107 Thursday. Borderline 106, 107 through the weekend this weekend. And on top of this all, Megan, it's going to be a little more humid than usual, oh, <laughs> which is a allowed. lot more humid for us. Yes, we don't. We're not supposed to get that here in California, you know. Yeah, here it comes. That's SoCal stuff. Okay, Justin, thank you so much for that sad update. Time to check in with Scott Bemis at the Sports Central desk. Scott, what is coming up in sports? Megan, we got a pop.